left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. So another pattern I'm really loving at the moment is this paradiddle style pattern. Paradiddle is a term that comes from drumming when you drum with your left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. That kind of style of drumming, we can apply it to rope flow and it gives us a bit of brain training and it's just really fun to feel that uh, rhythm, that kind of out of sync rhythm, but it, it becomes in, there's still a sync to it. So it's the same for the obviously for the double left or the double right, that's when we'll do a matador because it swings twice on that side. And then in between that, we're just doing a normal overhand pattern. So normal overhand pattern, and then a matador. Normal overhand pattern, matador. And you can do either two or four, but I, paradiddle is technically two overhands. So left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Matter door, right, left, matter door, left, right, matter door, right, left, matter door. Now, the keys to getting this to really feel, to feel the most out of this that I really enjoy is what we do with them. We use the matter door to swap the lead hand. So in the beginning, my right hand might be leading. So my right hand's leading the race and chase. And you can, you can really let the hands trace that figure of eight out here, right? And I can feel the rope pulling on both hands. And then when I want to make the left hand lead, I wait till it's on my left side, and then I matador on that side. And now the left hand's leading the race and chase. Left hand's in charge. Then when I want to go back, when the rope's on my right side, the right hand now leads. And so when we really crank this, and we just do a kind of single overhand in between, proper paradiddle. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. So, and the, fi the final cherry on top of this paradiddle pattern is to use this kind of whip uh, technique. So, say if I matted on my right, I'm coming out of it to the left, and as I come back to the right, I really want to emphasize this in steer elbow. So, I'll just demonstrate it. So matador, we go left, right. You see my right hand's in charge. It comes out of the matador, right hand's leading. Mm. And we can do it on the opposite side. Mm. Kind of this Muay Thai kind of hip action. Mm. But it's, it's that real nice in-steer action. I'll just demonstrate from the side as well. Mm. So you see my left side now. And there's this nice kind of six inches to foot size gap between the hands. And the heavier the rope, the more you feel the rope, you can kind of like fight and lean against the rope, especially with the race and chase. And then the matador's there as well. Boom. You've got that, that cut back. It's kind of the punctuation on the P, I think. Para did, para. Maybe it's not the P, it might be the R. Paradiddle, paradiddle, par. Just that pullback was like the chef's kiss on top of the paradiddle. Give that one a go. Thanks for watching.